Hello everybody, welcome back to my workshop. In today's workshop, I'm going to teach you how to mix colors. The science of color is deep, but today I'm just going to teach you some basic rules. There is warm colors, cold colors, and neutral colors. Here we got warm colors. Warm colors are any colors that remind you of sun or fire, yellow, red, and then we got some mixtures that we will be talking about. Then we got some neutral colors, which is black, brown, white, gray. I will be talking more about black and white because they're very important colors. And then here we got cold colors. Cold colors are all colors that remind you of water or grass, like blue, green and then we got colors in between and then we got these two pink colors and you might be wondering why they're on opposite sides this one is a warm pink and this one is a cold pink that is because this one has a warm tone to it to me it looks like it was mixed with a red color and then this one has a cold tone to me which I think that they mix with a dark blue or some color that brought that warmness down. And then we got this beautiful tea rose color, which is, to me, looks like a warm neutral color. So now let's just talk about neutral colors. Black and white colors are a must have in my paint collection. You can darken up any color using a black color and you can line up any color using a white color and then i really love to have brown color on hand when i want to calm down my warm color i love to add some brown to it and then i get beautiful earthy colors i bring brown color a lot to my pink colors i love adding brown to it dixie bell has so many colors and i find myself mixing colors much less. Now let me show you how I test different colors together. Before we go there, I just wanted to let you know that mixing colors should be fun, so just have fun with it and experiment. You never know what you're gonna get when you mix some colors together. We're going to take a color Plum Crazy and we're going to add black to it and we're going to add white to it. What I like to do is to get a piece of paper or canvas or anything that I can test my colors on. I'm going to add five dots of Plum Crazy on my canvas. The way you want to measure paint is by parts. One part and one part will be just an equal amount. I'm going to show you one part of Plum Crazy and one part of white. And I'm going to do one part of Plum Crazy and two parts of white. On this side, I'm going to do the same but with black color. One part Plum Crazy, one part black. And one part Plum Crazy, two parts black. And let's see how these colors are going to mix. Look how many colors we can create by just having black and white. We got five different colors. And remember, the possibilities are endless. You can keep on going. You can add five parts of white and one part of plum crazy and you will probably get a very light pink color. Or you can continue going to darken up this plum crazy by adding more parts of black. Probably you have seen me using this cup in my videos, measuring different colors together. Sometimes I don't even measure. I just pour different colors in containers and I just have fun with it. I strongly suggest if you are working on a big piece of furniture, use anything to measure your colors because you might run out of paint and then 
it's really hard to match that custom mix just have fun with it go play measure don't measure do whatever you want but remember just to have fun i really hope you enjoy this workshop let me know your favorite color mixes i will see you in the next workshop bye